morning guys welcome to today's video we're headed out to do some shopping it's almost back to school for us um how was chino sam is home first day back home he worked how long did you work a week in a day two weeks in a day seemed like a lifetime <laughs> seemed like a lifetime uh if you don't know what i'm talking about sam is on a work from home kind of thing and it ended after a year and he had to go back to work but then uh, through a weird a twist of fate he got to come and work from home again so he's back to work for two weeks and i think a day now he's home again and i'm so grateful so he did chores this morning so i'm the one kind of like in charge of watching and seeing how chino's doing they're the ones in charge of letting him out in the morning how was chino this morning it was really good he was actually walking better and oh wow, this yeah. is a bumpy road it's actually walking better than normal yeah, I know. I see it too. I swear to God, Gabby and Sam, I cannot see to save their lives. They don't notice that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's because for 22 years I worked in nursing and I was trained to notice stuff, but I don't think that's it. I think that I'm just a noticer because I'm a worry wart. I'm a worry wart, so I always see everything. Like, I see things that aren't even there. I see things all the time. I'm oh, it's like I'm looking for trouble all the time. I'm just always watching and noticing. I notice such a huge change in Tino today, but even yesterday and the day before. But and it's not just in his physical state. It's a lot in his mental state. Like he seems nonchalant and more peaceful and more happy and more relaxed. Um, but body-wise, his muscles are still tight because uh, it, that's one of the effects of Lyme disease. It can really wreck things off because it changes how they move and, um, and that will all come back. He'll start having a physical, he'll start having massage again soon. He'll start having chiropractor eventually. Lyme disease can make muscles really sore, can make touch sore. So we're just kind of waiting to finish the treatment and to... Um, to start all that stuff again but that stuff will all come his physical like just the tightness and the sore muscles and all that stuff will come but I notice he's walking better he's moving better but there's a lightness to him there's like a uh, easy goingness to him and he's like nipping at willow and he's resisting his medication and he's doing things that a normal horse might do opposed to a sick horse it just kind of stands there and can't move and doesn't want to move around and doesn't want to fight for dominance in the field but he's doing amazing he's loving the goats he is loving the goat anyway welcome to today's video uh we'll be back on the farm soon we're just gonna do some shopping and we'll see you guys then everything is on sale so find something so this is the way that gabby shops she looks online for something that she likes and then she tries to find it something similar in real life that's super cool this is cute it's got pink though Look, that's really cute. She has to take a laptop. Like that, Whoever says that they do everything on computers now. Yep, you were right. May have found a winner. All right, let's keep looking. This is not the one. This one's cute. Gabby, look at this one. Gabby, look. It's a light color. Do you like this one? All right, so we are moving, moving on to shoes. All right, we are done. We are absolutely done. I can't shop anymore if you paid me to shop. Every store I go in, my purse is triggering alarms. I don't know. I don't know why it happens. <laughs> I have my purse desensitized before. Like they, they put some wand over it before to make it not beep. And then it was good for a really long time. No, it just beeps all over. But guess what? I saw Chance's owner, you know, Chance, the horse that Sophie tried, the people that bought him, I met, I saw them shopping. Oh, they're such nice people. So she's giving me an update on Chance. And she said he's wonderful. I said, okay, million dollar question, because I've owned him for a long time now. Do you feel that he's amateur friendly? And she said, oh, absolutely. He's lazy. She said he's lazy, he's relaxed, he's, he's really good. Uh, her daughter owns him. And he's everything that we were told he was. Also, I was telling her, she said, like, I saw your horse has um, Lyme disease, blah, blah. her daughter was telling her that our horse has Lyme disease and I said yeah and I was telling her the whole story. So she was telling me the same thing, that she was told all the same things about Lyme disease that she wanted her dog tested and they said they didn't test for it and she said same thing for a horse. She was told the same thing, that they don't test for Lyme disease because 
they don't treat for it because horses oftentimes don't have symptoms and I think like the discrepancy in what some people get experience and what we were experiencing is that it's up and coming like people they're just the vet told me they're just finding out stuff about Lyme disease more and more and more and I remember and the reason that I believed our vet so easily even though I did argue with him is because at one point it was the same with people they felt the same with people they didn't treat people for Lyme disease they didn't take it seriously they didn't realize the full effect it's like it's something that people they're finding out more and more about all the time like when we thought Chino had Lyme disease, um, even just two years ago, there was so much less known about it. So anyway, <laughs> I love meeting people and talking to them and finding out their experiences. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, good boy. We are home and we've been gone all day. So I came to check on Chino and Willow. Good boy. So it's been, see? <laughs> Sassy. Wow, you want me to touch you and you don't want me to touch her? So it's been a good three, maybe four days that Chino hasn't been standing in the corner. So he's doing a lot better and he's walking better. So when I asked Sam and Gabby, how's Chino today? Like I said before, they don't really notice the way that I notice. I notice every little change. How come you don't... In fact, I noticed that when he doesn't have the fly mask on, he does better. So I don't know what that's about. It's literally 6 p.m. Honestly, we were gone all day getting everything ready for Gabby's school stuff. So uh, Gabby is completely ready for school. She has everything she needs. She's got like her timetable. She knows what courses she's taking. So that is exciting. Uh, now she has everything she needs for school as well. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm kind of like sad to see her go, but I love her going to school, the idea of her going to school. I guess I'm really not that sad she's going to school. Even Sophie, if she wanted to go to school, school is such an amazing opportunity and I think I'm more excited for her than anything. Oh, hello, Missy. You guys, I really wanna put the duck and the goose in this stall. I'm, I'm gonna do it tonight. Let's see, do I have to put shavings in there? All right, I'm gonna go talk to Sam about it right now. Sometimes it takes living in a space to figure out what exactly works the best. And the duck and the goose like it up here. This is where they live. They they've associate with the horses more than anything else. They don't, they don't spend time with the, the goats they hang out with Chino and Willow. So, and when it's nighttime, they naturally come into this barn. Every single night they come into this barn. So it'll be easier to clean up here. The water's easier up here. All of it's easier up here. I'm gonna go ask Sam right now if we can. <laughs> you are so sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna go ask Sam right now. He's against us putting the duck and the goose in the horse barn, but I think it will be better. He's looking at Ellie. <laughs> uh, lastly, I wanted to tell you guys that our vet told us how to fix Chino's gut. And through trial and error, we finally got on a program that I think is working for him. Took a couple of tries to find the right products, but I think he's on the mend. His gut seems better. So we recently started to introduce new stuff to him, like hay that's not soaked and he's been doing okay with it so i think we're on the right track with that i'm excited honey's pretty good at it yeah except for when she trots she canters all right what does she do Can you push me? yeah i'll push you oh are you doing showmanship so I'm not doing honey. I mean with Willow. all right let's see if you get her going good you can show her in the show Can you back her up? See? Yeah. Can you back her up? Yeah. Wow. I think you should practice with her. Who thinks Sylvie should practice with her and take her to her first show? <laughs> She's so cute. Doing good with turning on her haunches and then backing up and trotting. Well, keep, tra keep practicing with her. Oh. You're playing your cards with
with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holes Your place in your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice Oh, you, do, you never use treats with her? Well, I use treats when I'm playing with her, but when I'm actually working, she gets treats. Her face has darkened up so much, and her body has not. <laughs> Can you hold this? Yeah. Just have to. Oops. You're such a cute baby. Take this off. This one's too big. All right, well, I mean, it's not bad if I cut it. If I cut that. It used to be like here. And tighter here. Yeah, let's see that. Is it, yeah, that's. That's why the last one was good, because it was already all sewed. Yeah, I sewed these ones to try and fit her, but she was just so tiny at the beginning of the summer. But I'm gonna. Not I'm, that one, you sewed that to fit Willow. Oh, well, I'm, does, does Willow have one? Nope. Does this one fit Willow? Why isn't Willow wearing it? Because, see how this is getting like too high up? But if I put it down when it's too low. Well, I think that's perfect. She's good at turning on her haunches. Sophie washed her butt yesterday and her tail. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft I can't believe how good she filled in, but I think that's going to be her permanent color. She'll definitely darken in her body. Bring her a little closer. Like her body will get darker. I think her body will probably be the same color as her face because her mom's are, is like that. But turn her around to the side. But, but do you see it. how, I don't know if you can see, bring her up closer so that it can get in the light. But do you see how, I don't know if you guys can see it. But do you can see how like right down there, you can see the line where it gets lighter under her belly. This is like gonna be darker and then that's always gonna be white. And then she's got white up and through there too. And that's the same way her mom was. So you got treats? But I'm sure she's gonna get, her body will get as dark as her face. But she has a cut under her ear. I know, I, you need to put some cream on that. But look at this! We just, we're just noticing that her hair, so it, it literally looks like somebody cut it. So my guess is that the goats ate it. No. <laughs> just joking. But also her forelock, she has like this little thing here. It makes her forelock stick up too. So you have your work cut out for you. I and think she I probably rubbed. In I think she probably rubbed it to tame it. Maybe the elastics ripped it because that that's common. No, because the elastics were down here. Because mm. I break. But look, it it just stands straight up. Don't you know that you're beautiful?